Hey there, how you doing? So let's talk about shadow work, integrating our shadow, but how to get started first with shadow work and how we should deal with it and why we should deal with it. Well, if we don't deal with our shadow side, that's the side that we keep hidden from people. You know, you have your public persona, you have your uh, stuff you do, you just don't want people to know about. And that comes from uh, deep trauma, comes from resentment, um, also comes from programming we were taught as children. And it stops us from living our full potential. Um, so I, for an example, I do art now. Uh, my art is beautiful. The colors are vibrant. And I had uh, a father figure who just always said to me, what are you going to do? Make money with art. And that kept me from it for a long time. But uh, I'm done with the programming and I work through the shadow. And it takes a while. It's not always pleasant. It's about seeing, seeing, observing, you know, like our true self. And it's a big part of self-care, big part of self-care. Um, so, yeah, it's the part we keep hidden that um, it triggers us. It uh, gives us a negative self-image, you know. So, um, and most of our uh, negative self-images come from uh, our childhood. Um, whether you like to believe that or not, it seems to be very true. And a lot of times it comes from past lives. So um, it's what we don't want to remain hidden from ourselves. We work through our shadow and um, yeah, it helps us grow into our potential and see our full potential because we all have amazing potential. And that's why we use it as a practice for love and compassion. So we see our shadow self. We see what triggers us. Why did that trigger me? Why did what that person said trigger me? A lot of times we say that people are a mirror image of ourselves. It's something that bothers us about somebody else is something that we're doing. So it's like a mirror image. We say that a lot in um, yoga philosophy and such. So... Yeah, we don't want to keep it hidden. We want to embrace it. We love it. We want to love it like a puppy. Puppy doesn't know any better till we teach it. And we were maybe not taught so well. And um, we have to love ourselves and uh, parent ourselves now. So that's how we do shadow. So what's two great, great um, things I can recommend to you? Two great practices just to start. First, you want to start slowly. Um, if you ever feel at any point you need a counselor, a coach, a psychotherapist, go to one. I was always told by my yoga therapy teacher that what we bring up in yoga helps to release different emotions from our poses, from our breathing. And that as yoga therapists, we should always have a psychotherapist that we could refer people to because as yoga therapists, we can do talk therapy with people, but we're not, we're not medical professionals. And I'm not saying that um, any medical, um, you know, go to, go to a doctor, go to a psychotherapist, a psychiatrist, but journaling, you know, journaling, journal about your thoughts, journal about dreams you may have had and insights um i had a dream the other night i was telling somebody about and as i told it i realized that it was about going into the past and don't go to the past and um i'm not going to go through the whole dream but i was trying to get to the nassau coliseum and if you're young you might not know what that is Nassau Coliseum, I used to work rock concerts. So I used to go there for concerts. I used to see concerts, you know, doesn't exist anymore. So I feel my dream was telling me, don't go into the past. The past is over. It doesn't exist anymore. So, um, and my interpretation in, and your interpretation of your dreams is generally 
the right one. I mean, you can ask other people, get opinions, but it might be showing you something in your dreams that you're just not listening to in your waking life. So mine is don't look at the past. Don't go back, move forward. Um, I just kept trying to get to the Nassau Coliseum. It was the strangest thing. And there were other things in the dream, but I just wanted to share that aspect with you. So um, that's how you start to deal with your shadow work. Um, I tend to, I'm a Taurus. I tend to hold on to things. This is a season for letting go. So we can work with our own intuition, our own consciousness to hear the message that is being sent from spirit. It's about our ascension, about our activation. And when we deal with things like that, we can live to our fullest potential. It's really great. So ask yourself, why does something like that really bother me? Why does what that person did bother me? Because 99.9% .9 of the time, and I can attest to this, it's never about the other person. It's always about you and your reaction. And that's why I teach meditation. I teach practices for ascension and give you different ways to work into helping yourself to ascend, to become the truest potential of who you were meant to be here on the planet. So yeah, that's it. So I'm doing my art now and I got my message the other night and I journal it. You know, I journal like what that meant. And there was other parts of the dream, but I think that was about other stuff, which I won't go into right now. So doing your shadow work, it's not scary. We have to love that unparented child. Um, I mean, who knows? maybe our parents are parented correctly. There's a lot of different things coming up in the world now about uh, programming and belief systems that aren't correct. And we want to just focus on ourselves and ourselves being grounded and being the best that we can be. And that's why do the shadow work. Just deal with it. Just deal with it and go slowly and start with journaling. So that's my one main suggestion. Actually, my two main suggestions. Go slowly and journal and see what you see. It's about you checking in with yourself. And you're always with yourself, so you might as well. So thanks for stopping by tonight. And let me know how you do with your shadow work down in the comments. And I appreciate you. And uh, yoga's taught me a great deal about self-care, meditation, breathing, chakras energy work and i want to share that with people and help them to heal to ascend and to activate their full potential thanks for stopping by see you soon om shanti 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 bye